in the mighty name of Jesus. It is a great joy and privilege once again, beloved and friends, to be here this Wednesday morning to minister the word of God. I trust the Lord everyone is in good health and happiness regardless of our situation in our world. As I always say, beloved and friends, that we are living in a very sick and sinful world. But Jesus Christ himself promised, he says, Lo, I'm with you always. I will never leave you nor forsake you even unto the end of this world. Isn't that awesome today? Isn't that great? Isn't that mighty? Isn't that majestic that God himself promised to be with us in every situation, in every circumstances, in every trial, in every testing, in every storm, in every decision making. He said in his words, a thousand shall fall at thy side and ten thousand at thy right hand, but no evil shall befall thee and no plague shall come by thy dwelling. Welcome this morning. Let's give a big hand. God bless you today. Sincerely from my heart, I release that very special blessing upon your life today. And I pray that God will bless you physically, spiritually, socially, materially, financially, educationally, every area in your life. And whatever you do with your two hands, it shall prosper in Jesus' precious and gracious and wonderful name. Isn't that awesome today? Let me break it down. I pray that God will bless your child. He will bless your children, bless your finances, bless your business, bless you on the job, give you favor and promotion on the job. And whatever you do with your two hands, it shall prosper in Jesus' precious and gracious and wonderful name. Today, my friends, I cover everyone watching under the blood of Jesus. And I build a hedge around your life for the blood of Jesus is so efficacious and the blood of Jesus is so powerful. The blood of Jesus is a repellent that destroys every yoke and every bondage and every fetter and every evil and every work of darkness. Today, every spirit of witchcraft, obia, demonic forces, evil blights, generational curses, whether first, second, third, or fourth generational curse, I break. I I destroy and reverse by the blood of Jesus and in the name of Jesus every curse that was pronounced upon your life I destroy in the name of Jesus and by the blood of Jesus for whom the Son set free is free indeed every chain is broken every bile is broken every fetter is broken every evil every evil spell is broken from your life in the name of Jesus because whom the Son set free is free indeed you are free this morning in Jesus' name. Let's give my big hand. You are free in the mighty name of Jesus. Jesus said in his words, healing is the children's bread. And the first covenant he made with man was the covenant of healing. For he was wounded for our transgressions. He was bruised for our iniquities, the chastisement of our peace was upon him and with his stripes and heal you are healed you are healed we are healed in jesus name isn't that awesome today father god i pray this very wednesday morning that you dip the man of god in the river of liquid fire of the holy spirit born out every sickness Born out every pain, born out every disease, born out every infirmities, born out every evil and every work of darkness from this mortal man of clay. As I minister your words, your words will go forth with dunamis and power and the anointing of the Holy Spirit that many will be healed, many will be saved, many will be blessed, many will be delivered, many will be set free from all manner of sicknesses and pain and disease and infirmities and evil evil and every work of darkness in Jesus precious and gracious and wonderful name hallelujah praise God thank you Jesus so oh, blessed be the name of Jesus praise the Lord hallelujah praise God this morning we are have an important message for the world today a very important message yes my friends the warning signs of the end are escalating 
the warning signs of the end are escalating my friends hallelujah it is escalating my friends and we need to understand that first timothy first timothy chapter 4 verse 1 to 3 clearly tells us and he says now the spirit speaking expressly from in from that in the last uh, latter time some shall depart uh, from the faith, uh, giving heed to seducing spirit uh, and doctrines of devils, uh, speaking lies and hypocrisy, and they're having their conscience snared with the hot iron forbidding to many and commanding to abstain from which which God had created to be to be received with thanksgiving to them which believe my friends and know the truth today more than that any other time in history the world is experiencing a sharp moral decline moral decline now we live in an age where where what is considered a good is good is call evil and what is evil is called is called good yes my friends societies are now celebrated practices that were once looked down upon we live we live in a time and evil is applauded yes my friends and evil invade in, in invaded individuals seems broader than the righteous laws of God are regarded as old-fashioned and the name of progress society have embraced ungodly and blasphemous practices. Many people are offended by God today, reviling his holy, his holy name. Yes, my friends, blaspheme against the Holy Spirit. Yes, that becomes a complex, complex and righteousness in gradually being pushed out of nations that were once pillars of good of goodness. Of godliness is now acknowledged that unrighteousness has never ceased throughout history, but the rate of which unrighteousness is escalating in our time is, my friends, unprecedented. What we are experiencing now is kind of of a handwriting on the wall, which must be denoted the end of the world is near, and believers need to be awakened from their spiritual slumber. Yes, Paul wrote to Timothy that in the last days, in the last days some shall depart from the faith, feeling, falling victim to lying spirits and following my friends demonic teachings all across the world. Hypocrisy will teach its greatest heights and people will have their conscience snared as it is burned with the hot oil iron. Imagine today people are, are going ego doing evil without uh, any remorse for the actions uh, they, that indicates uh, a scared uh, conscience uh, a conscience that is no longer active uh, actively dead this is the most dangerous state uh, for an individual beloved being in the position today where the conscience is dead and no longer no longer active such a person my friends if keep is capable of anything and our our society as a whole is losing its conscience which is why you you see laws that contradicts the very word of god yes my friends being passed past society is changing it rejoices in wrongdoings and is so proud to associate my friends with ungodliness yes how we can explain but nations which once stood up for righteousness now take delight in passing bills that go against the morality of their citizens into law yes what uh, was uh, bewitch this generation my friends we have much uh, to learn from history my friends uh, but unfortunately we are worse than history itself uh, yes it makes me wonder today is this uh, generation worse uh, than Sodom and Gomorrah yes uh, we all know how it ended uh, for Sodom and Gomorrah my friends the old saying holds true today if God does not judge our generation 
will have to apologize to Sodom and Gomorrah. Satan seems to have his seats in our government houses today and ungodly men, ungodly men have been enthroned to lead the affairs of great nations and offices. No wonder the church is at the receiving end of the evil practice policies and practices. The Bible says when the righteous are in authority, the people rejoice but when the wicked bear rule, when the wicked bear rule, the people mourn for there are so many questions this generation will never find answers to my friends, but believers today must, must not be confused because we know that these are the signs of the end in the era we are witnessing a spiritual decay, hallelujah that mirrors the dark spirits of biblical history History. Yes, my friends, yet uh, with the civic vitality and bred on much by the days of Noah, Sodom and Gomorrah, Sodom and Gomorrah or Babylon, my friends, the flood waters of Noah time. The fire and brimstone of Sodom and Gomorrah, yes, and uh, the deficiencies of Babylon are pro propelled today not by physical destruction but by a rapid moral collapse. Yes, my friends, where sin, where sin escalates with alarming speed, and uh, the, the prolification of technology and global pontivity has accelerated uh, this discernment uh, of ungodly idolatry and behaviors making kin sin more accessible and acceptable than for ever believe before our generation my friends it faces a dialogue not of water but of sin and a fire not of sulfur but of social approval of what is bluntly wrong yes my friends today this uh, passive acceptance of sin indicates a deep spiritual mother surprising that we are indeed my friends we are indeed living in the times worse than those of Noah and Sodom and Gomorrah and Babylon itself the warning signs of the end times foretold by prophets and apostles across the world are manifesting with such clarity and frequency that's ignoring them because they become it becomes increasingly difficult the call for repentance and spiritual awakening has never been more urgent beloved and friends as the signs all around us yes my friends underscore the nearness of the end moreover the blur the blurring of moral boundaries today is so profound that many genuinely cannot deserve cannot discern from the wrong the truth from false this confusion is a hallmark of our time beloved and friends surpassing the spiritual confusion with witness to any previous era the concept of absolute truth my friends once the foundation of social norms and personal ethics is now questioned and often rejected beloved and friends outright the escalation of sin is sin in our generation is acceptance acceptance and celebration directly challenges the divine laws that once guided a civilization we live in a time where people people on the on, on anchored by the truths and who are that once provided moral direction should further away for the away from righteousness this moral and spiritual drift today indicates that the end is near than ever in fulfilling biblical prophecies with the startling accuracy the rapid speed by friends of ungodliness the erosion of fundamentals moral principles and the widespread influence to spiritual truths today are not just warning signs beloved and friends they are free they are clarification calls for the faithful to prepare for the population of history as prophesied is upon us as prophesied yes the urgency to hear to 
indeed these signs are to live in a manner worthy of our calling and has never been greater as we witness my friends this unfolding of events that signal the approach of the end times fulfilling my friends of prophecy with each passing with each passing day yes my friends second timothy chapter 3 clearly tells us 1 to 5 this now know also that in the last days perilous times shall come perilous times shall come for men shall be lovers of their own selves covetous boasters yes boasters proud blasphemers blasphemers disobedient to parents unthankful unholy without natural affection truce breakers false accusers in content fierce my friends despisers of those that are good traitors the bible tells us heavy high-minded lovers of pleasures more than lovers of god himself having a form of godliness but denying the power the power thereof from such from such turn away the greatest peril of the last days my friends is not natural disasters but the accuracy of 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 sinfulness the warning signs of the end times are escalating indeed my friends the signs of the end are evident in this generation yes beloved and friends unfortunately unfortunately some believers are also caught up in this evil wind evil wind of the end times yes end time churches yes end times Christ's return is very near and the church need to await awaken the church which Christ of the rapture must not compromise with the world. Yes, we live in a world that the world must not live in us. Yes, my friends, us, the world will not shape our thinking and our morality. Do not become comfortable with sin today. It is a significant issue. Believers in this generation need to be aware, my friends, of the world has the ability of decentralized people to sin through the movies we watch through the adverts we see and the books we read yes my friends people are becoming increasingly increasingly desensitized to sin which is why sin is becoming more of a social norm yes my friends is becoming increasingly difficult to this uh, differentiate between a believer and an unbeliever today in our world in our day it is uh, it's a tragedy for our conversation conduct and lifestyle often show no significant difference yes beloved where we should be uh, we have a, a clear distinction between an unbeliever and a believer in their lifestyle and beliefs yet my friends the church is adapting the world trend yes for instance today I saw Christians yes read their cars in a Christian book bookshop which have nothing to do with the Lord Matthew chap Matthew Luke and John were never involved with Christian church cards but the Bible warned us warn us that in the latter time some some shall depart from the faith giving heed to seducing spirit and doctrines of devils my friends and beloved they are now versions of the bible where god is referred to as her and she my friends however this should not surprise us as the bible foretold that in the latter times some shall depart from the faith giving heed to seducing spirits and doctrines of devils yes my friends the warning signs of the end times are escalating yes Jude tells us Jude 1 clearly tells us 16 to 9 these are gamblers complainers walking according to the old loss yes the old loss the amount of greater swelling words with swelling words flattering people to gain advantage but you beloved remember the words which were spoken before by the apostles our Lord Jesus Christ how they told you that they, they wish to be mocked in the last time yes they will walk according to the old ungodly loss 
these are essential persons who cause divisions not having the spirit not having the spirit of abundance of scoffers liars of the heart of our generation that does not your Christian profile looks like a genuine or perfected does your profile consist of gamblers complainers walking according to the own loss yes my friends the mouths utter great swelling words flattering people it is time for repentance repentance brothers and sisters today hallelujah the book of peter clearly outlines events of the last days and their signs hallelujah second peter chapter 3 yes verse 3 to 6 clearly tells us it says knowing knowing this first that the scoffers will come in the last days walking according to their own loss and seeing seeing where is the promise of his coming for since the fathers fell asleep all things continue yes as they were from the beginning yes of creation they will say for this for this they willfully forget that by the words of Almighty God the heavens were of old earth standing out of water and in the water in the water by which the world and then then existed perish being flooded with water yes my friends but the heavens and the water which were now preserved by the same word are reserved for fire until the day of judgment uh, and perdition of ungodly men praise God policies are currently being made against the standard of God's word beloved and friends morality is gradually being regarded as history not as experienced reality in our day people are increasingly becoming ungodly ungodly thankful disobedient covetous fierce pleasure driven pleasure driven and high-minded they want money at all costs and will do anything to get it fame and power are desired yet at all costs today yes the signs of the end times as recorded in scriptures my friends are being fulfilled in our time and we cannot deny we cannot deny these realities therefore we must be vigilant for the return of the Lord we must we must be carried away by the negative we must be carried by the negative developments in the world believers should remember that true though we are in the world we are not of this world therefore let us live our lives in a manner that will be pleasing to almighty god amid this collecting signs of the end time beloved hallelujah praise god thank you jesus oh blessed be the name of jesus glory honor and praise and thanks i'm gonna pray for you i did not get chance to pray for you yesterday beloved and friends but surely i'm gonna pray for you today that god gonna heal you and bless you yes god gonna heal you today in the mighty name of jesus yes praise god thank you jesus and i know today that there are many are sick in the hospitals many are sick in their homes many are sick with all manner of sicknesses and pain and disease and infirmities and evil and every work of darkness but today i'm gonna to pray hallelujah and god gonna touch you and heal you and set you free from all manner of sicknesses and pain and disease and infirmities and evil and every work of darkness i know many are sick in their homes many are sick in the hospitals with all manner of sicknesses and pain and disease and infirmities and evil and every work of darkness this morning wherever you're listening to me from the USA the UK Canada the Caribbean any part of Europe or the world today is your day for a miracle today is your day for healing and deliverance today is your day for salvation right now in the name of Jesus right now in the name of Jesus prepare to receive your healing beloved and 
friends, prepare to receive from the hands of God. Prepare to receive your healing today because Jesus Christ is still in the healing business. Yes, my friends, he is a healer of our soul and he is a healer of our body for he was wounded for our transgressions. He was bruised for our iniquities. The chastisement of our peace was upon him and with his stripes I am healed. You are healed. We are healed in the name of Jesus. Give a big hand to me. Praise God. Today there is a tremendous anointing in this room today. Praise God. There is an awesome presence of God, the Holy Spirit. And many will be healed. Many will receive the deliverance. Many will receive salvation today. Whatever sickness you have today. If you have cancer, if you have AIDS, you have COVID, you have diabetes, heart problem, liver problem, lungs problem, kidney problem, a blood issue, a blood dialysis problem, post trait cancer, what the case may be. If you're suffering from depression, oppression, frustration, anxiety, today is your day for a miracle and healing and deliverance. What the case may be, my friends, if you're blind, you're deaf, you're dumb, you're lame, today is your day for a miracle and healing and deliverance. If you're demon possessed today, I command those harassing demons to leave your body right now. Be gone, be gone in the name of Jesus. Yes, I command and those harassing demons to leave your body right now in the name of Jesus. Yes, those who are suffering with arthritis, pain in your fingers, your knees, your toes, your elbows, you will be healed today. That person with the migraine headache cannot function on the job effectively today. It's your day for a miracle. God is touching that migraine headache. It is going right now. You heal. It's a spirit. It is going in the name of Jesus. Those of you who are just skin and bone, you have diabetes. Your blood is messed up. God, the Holy Spirit is setting your blood in order. You will not die, but you will live. You will live to fulfill purpose and calling and destiny because God has not finished with you as yet. In Jesus' name, right now, be healed in the name of Jesus. Yes, in the name of Jesus. If you're feeling a burning in your stomach right now, it's the work of the Holy Spirit. God is burning out that cancer. He's burning out that AIDS. He's burning out that COVID is born out that, that that disease from your body. You're healed this morning in Jesus' name. The person with the shut down kidney right now, God has given you brand new kidneys. Yes, you'll be healed. The person with the hole in their heart is, is being healed. The person with the growth in the stomach is being healed. I feel the anointing of the Holy Spirit. Many are already receiving the healing in their homes, in their living room, in their dining room, in their kitchen. In in the car, in the office, on the street with the phone in church. And right here, God is healing people left, right, and center. Yes, it's a miracle. It's a work of the Holy Spirit. Right now, this morning, as I send for the anointing, prepare those of you who have not received your healing yet. Prepare to receive your healing. Right now, be healed in the name of Jesus. Be set free by the power of the Holy Spirit. I see many are healed. Many are saved. Many are delivered. Many are set free from all all manner of sicknesses and pain and disease and infirmities and evil and every work of darkness beloved it's the power of God it's the work of the Holy Spirit you are healed you're saved you're delivered write me text me call me and let me know what God has done for you my friends it has been a great joy and privilege to be here this Wednesday morning to minister the word of God. God bless you richly. Do enjoy this very special day, this rest of the Wednesday. God bless you richly. I'll see you in the next session by the grace of God. In Jesus, precious and gracious and wonderful. And I love you very much in the love of God. God bless you richly. I'll see you in the next session by the grace of God. In Jesus, precious and gracious and wonderful. And amen and amen. Thank you, Jesus. Praise God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah.